Yeah, I think, look, we do see consistently, whether it's through uh, parking fines, whether it's through speeding fines, ministers of both parties over the years... But he's the have Prime Minister. He was making these laws. But, but we've also... We've, yeah, we've had Prime Ministers in the past have penalty notices, from what I can see, and we've also had Which front ones? bench ministers. Well, I saw there was a, a parking notice that Tony Blair had once. We've seen front bench so Labour ministers... A parking, and, and, no, and no, 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 you make the point. Gov government so you ministers think as well the Prime Minister, The previous Prime Minister having a parking fine is in any way... Uh, correlated to our Prime Minister making Covid rules when the country was in lockdown. 120-odd thousand people have died. And you can make the comparison between the two? You're saying to me... No, I'm asking somebody, you yeah, if you yeah, can. No, you, you ask me if somebody who sets the laws and the rules can also be somebody who breaks rules. That clearly has happened with a number of ministers over the years. But Tony Blair didn't but make the rules change. on parking. Well, the, the government is responsible for all of the rules and regulations, so you could argue that governments don't pass um, the, some of the specific local fines on parking, but still, if a parking fine is broken, it's still a law of the country. Are you completely so, comfortable making the comparisons with parking fines well, and what the I'm Prime just Minister making did? the point that... No, I'm just asking yeah, if you well, are, uh, in, in all sincerity. That, yeah, absolutely, in the sense that ministers in the past have sadly been subject to getting fixed penalty notices on a range of issues. They can continue to be ministers, they do continue to be ministers. We've seen that in both governments, the previous Labour government as well as the current Conservative government.